Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I bet you thought Spyro was dead. And I bet you thought, <laughs> these motherfuckers never finished games. I am so mad. Well... You are kind of right. <laughs> yeah. You might still be correct, who knows? <laughs> uh, but we're back with more Spyro. Dude, it's just like, the more you see this little kid, the more you see this dragon, uh -huh. the more you're just like, damn, it's a cute dragon. He damn, did... that is a cute dragon. I do. You know I love. I, mean? I love Spyro. He's really, he's really grown on me. Yeah. He's become one and of he my. He should have been in Smash. Dude, that would... <laughs> are you kidding me? That would be so awesome if he was in Smash. I'm telling you, man. Like we were discussing it the other day. I think we discussed it in the Smash, um, the Smash uh, podcast videos. Okay. And we're like, man, Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I really wanted Banjo Kazooie. Who knows, man? You never know. Like Joker from Persona Five. Really opened the gates to, like, what's possible. I guess that's true. That's what people were saying anyway, like... I I mean, I feel like that, like... Developers pick whoever the fuck they want. They're gonna get the rights. They're Nintendo. They have money, dude. They're that's just gonna... True. Developers, 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 developers. Nice, nice throwback. Any, dude, I wonder if anyone listening to this even knows what I'm talking about. Who's... I want to say... I forgot who it was. Somebody made a reference to that the other day. <laughs> they said developers, developers. Yeah, but they, it was an older guy, and I was like, dude, of course this guy knows about... It was Stephen Balmers, right? That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like all sweaty on stage yeah. talking about what's going to make Microsoft great. Yeah. Developers. You know what I didn't... Okay, we just recorded the podcast. What I didn't mention was um, one of the guys from Easy Allies, I guess, wrote the, the script... For that? Yeah, because I guess they have <laughs> they have little like well I mean they obviously say things, right? Of course. So yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a great response. Well yeah. Because this uh this <laughs> he went, Oh yeah. Huh. Oh, huh. I do love I do find those to be the cuter ones where he's like, You got it. Yeah. Like they add the little, you know? He's just like, I don't give a shit what you say. I'm a millennial. He would never say anything like that because he's Spyro. Spyro never cruises. Because he's what time. I want and what I need. Okay, so this is a little bit. Let me see if I can do this right now, actually. Do it, man. I'm going to do it right now. Do it right now. By the way, as we're recording this, uh -huh. uh, my brother was talking about uh, how we had just recorded the podcast. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, I guess not. Uh -huh. I was, we were talking about um, different things that got announced. One of the things that got announced was CTR, which is Crash Team Racing. Uh -huh. And I feel like because they did the Crash Bandicoot trilogy and because they did this, uh -huh. I feel like they're just going to go back and revamp a bunch of platformers for, but I just, I want them to do them on the Switch as opposed to like on these, you know, as opposed to on uh, uh like Xbox and PlayStation, because I was like, dude, who's gonna want to play these kids? Why aren't they on a more kid friendly console? Like, well, you could take this wherever you want to go, man. Dude, if they put Spyro on Switch, I'd be so fucking happy. But what I was gonna say is that a lot of people were saying that Spyro's basically confirmed for Crash Team Racing. Well, yeah, so I was like, yeah, oh, that's cool. Sure, why not? Hell yeah. That seems good. That seems fine to me. Oh, well, Fire Guy. I want this guy in more yeah. video games. Fucking stupid. Now, there, there I got is. him. Cool. I got him. Alright, so I think that's everything here, actually. Oh, oh wow. Damn, did you 100% this already? No. no. You're missing two. But I did one of the harder jumps because that one took me forever to figure out. But this game is so satisfying in that regard. When you find secrets in this game, it feels so good. It makes you feel so fucking smart. It's just like. It's like I'm so smart. It's like why I play fucking puzzle games. Like. For that feeling of like Eureka, I did it. This is a fucking <laughs> grand discovery. I mean, that's why I do. By the way, I've been playing the Room Three. Oh uh, right, I forgot. We, we should, oh man, we need to play that. I've been playing so many fucking games. Like, jeez, I have too much on my plate right now. I've been playing like nothing but Red Dead Two. Well, yeah, and like aside from Smash, obviously. Yeah, Smash is like anything on Switch right now is just like, uh, how do I put it, like. It's always in the background, like it's always running. Like, no, in my totally. Head. And they just updated. We didn't mention this on the podcast, but they just updated um, the Nintendo Online. Uh huh. And they added um, 
They added Wario's Woods. Well, they did? It? Huh? They did? Yeah, they added Wario's Woods. They added Ninja Gaiden. Oh, that's cool. Um, the first one, I believe. And then they added, like, three other games that are just SP, like, special editions of Metroid and something else. I forgot what the other one is. But um, it's great. Yeah, that's because cool. Because, if anything, we just need, like, I just need them to deliver on the promise that they're still going to... You know, I put down 12 big ones. I think, no, it's 20 big ones. Yeah. For the whole year. Oh, sorry. It's Metroid. It's and uh, Dr. Mario SP versions. Okay. And it's the Adventures of Lolo. Okay. Ninja Gaiden and Warrior Woods. How so, the fuck am I pretty cool. For I mean, the special edition of Metroid is a little more attractive because the one thing that sucks about that OG game is that, uh, you know. A lot of NES games didn't age well. I feel like Super no. Nintendo is one game's got a little more playable. Yeah, I mean, if I was going to go back and play a Metroid, I think I'd want to play Super Metroid more than anything oh, else. Oh, hell yeah. Super Metroid. Super Metroid is fucking dope Aged ass. like fucking fine wine. And yeah. Metroid, the original, aged like the cheese that you eat with wine. So it's all moldy and shit. But it still tastes good. But, yeah, like, if you're brave enough, you could just go but, ahead you know, and try you, that. But, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, it just fucks you, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> I'm just saying, what, what I'm saying about that in particular is I'm saying that if you're not used to it, it can just really fuck. Right. So it's like, if you're not used to how difficult NES games can be, right. and how unforgiving they are sometimes, yeah, yeah. Well, Zero you're going to have a bad time. Zero Mission was really good too, as a reboot. Of Zero it. Mission was one of the ones that I beat, and I was just like, wow, man, why can't they make these games... Like, they, like, this is such a new concept, and you're like, you know that's just a remake. And uh -huh. I was like, oh. Oh, cool. Like, it feels fresh. Is that what it feels think? fresh. But <laughs> you, then you told me, like, you just blew me out of the water, and you're just like, you know that's old, right? It's an old piece of shit. No, that would yeah, that's not, that's not what that no, is. Not no, not an old piece of shit. No, no, not at all, Steve. I thought you finished this. No, I did not. Damn, dude. Uh, hold on. I'm missing Now it's returned to sender. I'm missing something. What do you mean return to sender? What are you talking about? Huh? Why did you say return to sender? Oh, because my fr uh, I my friend was talking to me about uh, Led Zeppelin today, and he said return to sender, and I was like, is that a Led Zeppelin song? It's an Elvis song. Oh, okay. Maybe that's oh okay. <laughs> Here's oh, okay. I got a little mixed up because we started playing this game because um, like he started talking about a, a, a song on Led Zeppelin that I didn't know. Which one? Oh man, it, it's gonna bug the <laughs> shit out of me now. Hold on, give me two seconds. You want me to go oh, through the disarm? No, 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 I'll no, go through no, the disarm. No, stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't start. I have it here on my, I have it here on my Slack channel. Because once he says like, "How do you not have it?" Then he sent it to me. Uh huh. I was like, "I'll just look it up on iTunes." Shit, I need to go over there. I think. How do I get back to the castle? Then? Oh my god, Steve, you're just gonna get us lost. Oh no, wait. Okay, sorry, sorry, guys. Last time I come back here, don't worry. It was Over the Hills and Far Away. Oh, yeah. And I was like, and he was like, you don't know that song? I was like, not by the name. Maybe if you started singing it, I'll know. And then he sent it to me, blah, blah, blah. Then I started playing this fun game where I was just like, all right, I'm going to open Led Zeppelin uh -huh. on iTunes. Yeah. And I, it could have been Spotify. It could have been iTunes. It could have been anything. But oh, if, if I remember, if I remember, oh, jeez. Wrong window. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I remember how Spotify, iTunes, all this works is when you go to top songs, uh -huh. it means what people are playing. Okay. You know, and I was like, hey, really quick, if I type in Led Zeppelin, yeah. what do you think are the top songs for Led Zeppelin as of today? Uh-huh. And it was a fun game because they, I was like, uh, okay, number one, and they all took their guesses. They got it right off the bat. Stairway. Of course it is. Uh-huh. But like, the second one, mm -hmm. they didn't get it. Okay. Take a guess. Black Dog. No, it's Immigrant Song. Oh, really? Okay. And I was like, you know why? It's because there's probably gotten a lot more play because of Thor Ragnarok. Right. You know, and then because number three... before would... that, Led Zeppelin did not exist. No, I'm saying that's why the song grew in popularity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I Number three you. was Black Dog. Oh, okay. So it was cool. like, oh, okay, cool. And so we started going like, huh. And so we went from that to ACDC. Wait, hold on. Let to... me try and guess, part... Let me guess the fourth one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Is it okay. a, is Stairway, Immigrant Song, Black Dog. Number four would be... Is it a song you know? <laughs> no, it's not a song I know. 
Huh, okay. Or maybe I do know it, but not by name. Fuck, what am I doing here? I fucked up. Alright, I'm just Are gonna leave. Are you supposed to go to the top there? I'm just gonna leave. I can't. I know. You know, it, this is one of the ones where you have to, like, circle around and do more than one jump. Gotcha. Uh, but I completely forgot how to do it. I'll do it later. Um, tangerine. No, it would be going to California. Oh, wow, really? Okay. And you want to take a crack number five? <laughs> I suspect that it's not tangerine, which was what No, it it's not tangerine. A uh, whole lot of love. I'll give you one more guess. Because <laughs> you're close. It has love in the title, though, you're saying? Or is it on Zeppelin, too? No, no, no. I'm saying you're close because you're saying a lot of the popular songs that would be there. Uh huh. And whole lot of love is lower on the uh, list. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, shit, I don't know, dude. Think of a more popular song Celebration Day? Cashmere. Cashmere. Cashmere is number five. That song is not very good. <laughs> no, but it's more like I'm. You see what I'm saying? It's like what's fun is that not. It's not necessarily your best song. Right. It's, it's just, just whatever is popular. popular right now. Yeah, and and you you were saying because of Thor Ragnarok that that one was also like inflated. A bit. Yeah, I think so because people like and you know what was great. Uh huh. And this is a shout out to my coworker Carter. Uh huh. We went to ACDC. Uh huh. And he guessed one, two, and three. Okay, no so problem. Thunderstruck is p number one, right? Just give me your guesses. <laughs> Thunderstruck is not number one? Thunderstruck is not number one. Oh, shit. I went to the wrong place. Because <laughs> we're playing this game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Thunderstruck is not number one? Thunderstruck is not number okay, one. Okay, Back in Black. Yes. Okay, Back in Black one. is number one. It's now thunder guess number two. It's Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck <laughs> is number two, and number three is? Uh, shit. I get, you'll probably guess it. Just give me a, just give me a guess. Do you know? Can I get that? I'll give nah, you that's... two. I'll give you three guesses. No, no, okay. Who, all right. Uh, is it Bon Scott or is it Brian Johnson? It's Brian Johnson. Really? <laughs> yeah. People love all that. All three are. Th all three. Yeah, are, that's uh, so surprising Brian to me. Johnson. All right, Brian Johnson. People love that guy. Uh, I think his are more popular because they've been uh, used in like commercials. Is it and shit. you shook me all night long? No. Okay. What is it? Just tell me. Highway to Hell. Okay. You know, it's been it's because those three songs, like Back in Black, Highway to Hell, and Shook You All Night Long, which was number four. That's why you were close on that one. Um, but those three in particular have been used in so many commercials and so many um, like TV shows. You know what I mean? Wait, is is Highway to Hell Brian Johnson? I don't even remember anymore. No, yeah, it is. I'm it's not Brian up, Johnson. I'm not up to date on my classic rock trivia. Um, Hold on, let me go to the. That's cool though. What did you guys do in the other bands? Uh, yeah, we did. Um, we did Elvis Presley. We did. Um, who else did we do? Sorry, I know we're not really paying attention to the game, but I will go back and fight Metalhead. Um, we did. Um, who was it called? Uh, God, David Bowie, because they're they were they're big David Bowie fans, mm -hmm. which was really trippy. We did. So the, Bohemian, so uh, the man who sold the world has to be number one for him. <laughs> Uh, right? We did um, we did Queen because of the the song. The, okay, um, so Bohemian Rhapsody is number one on that. All right, one. hold on. You want to do Queen? Do Queen? <laughs> no, do I don't know Queen? enough Queen songs. I really only know a few songs that I like from him. Okay, so number yeah. one is obviously Bohemian Rhapsody. So it is. It is. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I have on the discography. <laughs> the end of the list. Uh, number two, fuck. I don't know, dude. I honestly don't know. I, I probably would have gotten this because I Wait, is it We Will Queen Rock songs. You? Is it We Will Rock You? No, it's not We Will Rock You. Okay. Uh, is it Under Pressure? No. What the Surprisingly. Fuck? But this is one. One of the greatest songs of all time. It's not on there. <laughs> it's Another One Bites the Dust. God. <laughs> Queen has and so the third one, I don't know. Queen has so many songs that are like, to me at least, that are just like... This is cool, but why is it so fucking popular? Like, no, I get it. But it's it, I think it's more... It, it's like that whole thing about a comedian who's... You're like, that's not a very funny joke, but it's in the delivery. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's the... It's, it's the their, packaging. It's their clout. Yeah. That really sells the it. The third one... Hold on, hold on. The third one is, is... is It's not under pressure? No. What the fuck is Under pressure is number five. Jesus Christ. That's such a great song, by the way. I think so too. Uh, okay, so number f so. This is number three still. Sorry. Number three, yeah. Uh... Shit, I don't know. Is it Rocket Queen? Or what was it called? What was that song called? Killer Queen. Killer Queen. No. Is it Bicycle? 
Oh my god, I forgot about that song. Is it on there? It's not it's not on the top Jesus one. Jesus Christ. It's called Don't Stop Me Now. And I actually oh, yeah, had to it play is. it. Yeah, it is it. I had to play it to remember what it was. Da, 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 da. Yeah. No, Sorry. Don't stop me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that one. And I did not like I when I heard it uh-huh. or when I saw the name of it, I was like, What the fuck is that? And then I had to play it and I was like, Oh yeah, I know this. Yeah, it's a great and song. And then under pressure. You know what? Okay. Oh, sorry. Somebody to love and then under pressure. Any classic rock heads out there you want a fucking great Queen song? Yeah. Lover Boy. That's a great oh, fucking yes. song. That is an oh, amazing dude, song. Dude, dude, this guy's got us. I don't This guy got a bit of a, yeah, bit little, of a beard going on. He was, he, was, he was speaking a little sexual. I don't know if I like that, dude. I'm just a little boy. A little dragon boy. Um... And, like, We Are the Champions is, like, number six. Yeah, I fucking do not like that song. No yeah. offense to anybody who does. It's just... Why? <laughs> and then after that, I got stuck because it was, like, David Bowie, ACDC, all these... I couldn't think of anything, and then all of a sudden I was like, well, what about Black Sabbath and, and all oh, that? Oh, let me do Sabbath. Yeah, I go to Sabbath. This is fun now. This is a fun game. <laughs> if iTunes wants to sponsor us... <laughs> yeah. You're doing it on we'll Spotify, aren't you? No, I'm doing it on iTunes Music. Oh, okay. That's completely different then, right? No, it's it's still by whatever's played the the top songs or whatever's played at the time. Shit, shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> top Black Sabbath song. Because the first one was Iron Man, right? No. It's not. It's not. Okay. You it's... are close because it is on that album. Is it Paranoid? It is Paranoid. Oh, shit, okay. Now number two. <laughs> Iron Man, is that yes, what it is? Yes, okay. it's number two. Is it? Nice. And then number three? Uh, fuck, I don't... War Pigs? Yep. It is? Dude, All right, cool. Pigs. See, you know who I think would be really good at this? Who? It would be our, uh, our uh, brother-in-law, Phil. He would he would probably he he'd probably do really well on these. What the hell? Uh, it's like a secret thing. That's cool. It was like a wizard's hat. Yeah. So I it's don't... like, are you collecting pieces of a wizard's no. like, costume or that something? That is just the weirdest fucking thing that they asked you to do in this game. So. Was that part of the originals? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Hold on, I just need to go back here because I think I missed the suit of armor. Okay, there it is. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, but yeah, this is this is always super fun because here's the thing. So number four mm-hmm. is something called Sweet Leaf, which I don't, I'm not familiar with. It's a great song. Planet Caravan. That's number five, really. Exactly, and then number six, Heaven and Hell, which I believe is the Sabbath. Um, a Sabbath song after Ozzy? Yeah, it's Ronnie James Dio. Yeah. And that's interesting. It's a great song. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Not to get too much into this classic rock trivia. Yeah, because we're running out of time. <laughs> we, we can go as long as we want right now. Um, Someone's got to sleep, Steve. <laughs> no, sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean that literally. Um, I was just going to say that... Uh, Black Sabbath actually had a lot of success without Ozzy Osbourne, which is ridiculous to me. Like, that's very difficult to do. Like, yeah, like, what other band really did that? You know, like, aside from like maybe Van Halen. Uh, not. Yeah, I guess they count. Like, I don't really like their stuff with Hagar, but no, but they did have success after. You know what I mean? Like, they were big for a while, even until they 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 had a third singer, right? Uh. They, yeah, they did, but nobody talks about that. Guy. No, I didn't understand, but they survived even to, to a third singer. Yeah, like, oh, you they didn't have do Van Halen really quick. Oh sure, that's a good one actually. Yeah, what's number one? Eruption. No. Running with the devil. No. Really? One more guess for number one. Oh okay, hot for teacher. Mm, let's jump. Oh shit! I thought you for sure would get that one. Yeah, but like, that's I mean that's that's what, what everybody uses in like TV commercials and fucking yeah. Anytime you think of Van Halen, might as well jump. <laughs> I guess to a lot of people it is, but it's like okay. And uh, number two, same album. Number two, same album. Mm-hmm. Jump was on nineteen eighty four. Uh yes. Okay. Uh, so it's Hopper Teacher, right? No. No. Surprisingly, because I thought for sure that too, but think think more like surface level. 
I honestly can't, like right now I can't even think of any other songs on that Cause album. Cause you're too fixated on Spiro, dude. Fuck. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to make the super jump. Okay. Now just tell me, just tell me what it is. Panama. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Dude, that's yeah. a great song. You know, it's funny because I really, I really love that song. I'm not a huge Van Halen fan. I'm not a very big classic rock fan, aside from like some real service level stuff. Uh huh. But Panama, anytime that comes on, I'm just like, yeah, it's rocking, dude. It's rocking too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, Wait, that's so rocking. <laughs> so number three is Hot for Teacher. No, it's on dude, a different. What the, the f- n- number three is a different album altogether. Number three is a different album altogether, really? Yeah. Is it Running with the Devil? It is Running okay. with the Devil. Very good. Finally, found that one. <laughs> found that one after a while. Number four is the same album as number three. Uh, so that's Eruption? No. Okay, so that's um, Jamie's Crying? No, but it's funny because you're naming things that are like be- right below what we're talking. <laughs> Fuck, what's on Van Halen 1 that everybody loves? Because besides... Uh, hold on, hold on, I got it, I got it. Uh, Give me one more guess. No, is it Atomic Punk? Because I don't like that song. No, I, that's not even in the top ten. I'd be happy to know that. Okay. Is it, uh, Ice Cream Man? That's a good song. No, it's You Really Got Me. Oh, shit. I forgot about that song. <laughs> <laughs> I had to listen to that one before. Because okay. I, I recognize that title. Then it's Hot for Teacher. Dude, Hopper Teacher's a great song. How is it all the way it's down five. there? And That's number, ridiculous. Number six is Ain't Talking About Love. Okay. Number seven is Jamie's Crying. There you number go. Number eight is Eruption. And number nine is like an entirely different album called Why Can't This Be Love. Okay, that's Sammy Hagar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Then it all goes right. like, and you know what's crazy is these are, this is, this is kind of a thing with classic rock, but not so much with now. Uh-huh. Like... When I search some people now, like yeah. a newer artist, a lot of their number one songs are collaborations. Okay, you know that's, what I mean, like yeah, that's kind of why I was like, so why wouldn't Queens be under pressure? Because that's Bowie and no, and, I know, I, I understand. Because like, here's the thing, right? When I looked up David Bowie, uh huh, I was like, and I'm not saying this is bad about Bowie or anything like that, but when I was playing this for my friends, I was like, make sure that you understand that. This is top Bowie songs, so it can be him and it can be his collaborations. Because on Bowie, number one is Under Pressure. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Number two is Peace on Earth, Little Drummer Boy by David <laughs> Bowie and Bing Crosby. But okay. Because it's Christmas time. Yeah, right. You know? Naturally. And then under th- number three is Under Pressure again, but it's on a different album. Oh, that's And stupid. it's remastered. That's really dumb. Yeah. yeah, and then finally is you Space should, Oddity. You, you know, you should try that with the, uh, you should try that on Spotify because I, I do know iTunes does that and I hate that because. What do you mean? Okay, so, so there's this artist named uh, Kiari Pamu Pamu. Mm-hmm, okay. The top five songs on her page right now are the same song but from different compilation albums. Yeah. So it's like, why? Why do you guys? Why do you do that? Like. Isn't there some way you can like set so that you know that it's the same? Because song? it's just an algorithm that runs by how you are, how, how what people are listening to. That's all it is. What the fuck am I missing? Hold on, this is gonna bother me. How am I missing something? I was but like, is so somebody that is like, I'm a pre- I'm a pretty good, um, or I should say, I'm a pretty big Eminem fan. Okay. Like all his <laughs> new stuff is, it was near the top. That the day that that came out, all his new stuff was on the top. Okay. But now it's 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 thinned out a little more. Uh, but his his uh, his top three are like nobody would even get it. Really? Yeah, because it's it's the first one is off his new album. Second one is a Drake song. I'm gonna have to read. The third one is finally till I collapse, which is a great song on his uh, curtain call album. Okay. So it's like. It does that every so often, you know what I mean? Like, if something, like, really, uh, what do I want to say? If something really, like, big in terms of collaboration comes out that, like, skews their top songs or whatever. Yeah, okay. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. I did it. Finally. I did it. 100%. I know. I'm sorry, guys. This has been a long episode, but... It's over now. This week... <laughs> 
<laughs> this week has been a lot of ups and downs, and the schedule's been fucked. Uh, yeah, that's mostly my fault. But you I can't gotta say, it's been a fun week. Duty calls. Been, like, yeah. You know, work is first, so, you know, whatever. Oh, that would have been cool if you had left with the... Um... I know. You know, because I, I, I know we didn't really narrate this episode, but that ep- that this level is so satisfying because um, you get, like, this little short power-up, that mm-hmm. little kiss. Yeah. And then... You do this like secret part where you have to do it kind of fast, and that one gives you like a permanent power up for the rest of the level, and it's super super satisfying. But hmm. okay, so next time we're gonna go back and we're gonna fight Metalhead, uh, and I hope you'll join us. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time, guys. Mm-hmm.